Hello, everybody. My name is Nick Weir, and I run the entertainment at Royal Caribbean. But today, I'm sort of like a backstage host guy. We're all back here. This is the producer. Come here, Jeremy. You can't get off the camera. He's running the show. Come in here. We are going to do the naming ceremony, which is a very special moment in the history of a ship. We only do it once. The crew, the captain, everyone, the passengers, it's a, it's a moment that we never forget. And we're going to be doing it in the Aqua Theatre. And look, a lot of you don't realize, everyone knows we have divers and we have backstage. We also have scuba divers under the tank, uh, under the pool. So this is where it all happens. Uh, I'm going to be nipping in and out. I think I'm going to come back again live in about three minutes. In the meantime, thanks for joining us today. It's an exciting moment. It really is. We're continuing this experimental live feed from the backstage area of the Aqua Theatre on Icon of the Seas. One of the cast members of Aqua Action, a loyal member of the team, Freddie. How long have you been working with Royal? Uh, five years now, just over five years. So it's been a while. And is this uh, jacuzzi part of your contract? What is this area here? I always stipulate that there has to be a jacuzzi backstage uh, before any contract. Otherwise, you know, it's just not good enough. He's become a star. So obviously, this is a super complex area, and this is part of the pool. This is actually going out to the performance pool where we do the diving. You are a high diver. How high do you dive from normally on an Oasis class? Uh, about 60 feet. And how deep is the pool? Uh, the, the pool is at max about 18 feet deep. So, and you still hit the, you still after the dive make contact with the bottom? Yeah, almost every dive, yeah. But it helps because it lets us push off. We can swim out faster. No, I've seen the underwater shot. So, ladies, we are going to be doing a number from Aqua Action as part of the naming ceremony. It's going to be amazing. Mario Lopez is the host. That's it for now. I'm going to think of something to say again in about three minutes. Thank you so much for watching.
super honored to have Mario Lopez hosting the naming event. This is the biggest naming event we've ever done. What do you think of this shit, Mario? Oh, it's it's incredibly impressive. So, so cool. They've maximized every square inch. And uh, wow is all I have to say. And actually, this will be the second event he's hosting for us because we just did our big Inter Miami Royal Caribbean launch. You did great. Did you meet Mr. Messi? Thank you. You know, unfortunately, I did not. I was... Um, I was maybe about six, seven feet away, but uh, I'm hoping to meet him uh, right now. <laughs> that makes all of us. Thanks for being here. The show starts in about two minutes.
Liquid Theatre were about to start. And those of you watching on live stream, you get to follow me on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the biggest naming ceremony we have ever done. You're going to have to look at me down here. Who is it up there? It's not like it's anyone important, is it? Ladies and gentlemen, this is, in my opinion, the most iconic of all venues on the ship. But there are people all over the vessel that are convinced that they're in a more iconic place than us. So let's go out to them live on camera. We're going to go, first of all, to Gemma in the Pearl. Thanks, Nick. I'm Gemma, and I'm here at the Pearl, the world's largest kinetic art sculpture in the heart of the Royal Promenade, which has 15 new and reimagined restaurants, bars, and lounges, and amazing floor-to-ceiling ocean views. Now, let's check in with Dom over at Chill Island. Thanks, Gemma. I'm Dom, kicking back and relaxing here at Chill Island. Well, there's not one, not two, but seven different pools, one for each day of the week. From Royal Caribbean's first ever swim up bar at sea, swim and tonic, to the prime ocean views. I'll be chilling out here all day, that's for sure. And now let's kick it on over to Chris. He's at Thrill Island. Well, thanks so much, Dom. Chris here. And while you guys are chilling over there in Chill Island, we are living our best life and living it up here at Thrill Island. Now, Thrill Island features six brand new, incredible water slides called Category 6. And they are all record breaking, all brand new, making it the largest water park at sea. And I cannot wait for all you daredevils to come and try it. But right now, we are going to throw it over to Taylor, who is... He's at the crown's edge, which I hear is actually 154 feet above sea level. Thanks, Chris. I'm Taylor, and we're currently living the life on the edge over here at the crown's edge. I'm continuing the thrill-seeking trend. I'm safely strapped in. I know all the thrill-seekers will jump at the chance to dangle from the crown's edge. Let's check in with Admiral Awesome, who is making some waves down at Surfside. Thanks, Taylor. I'm Admiral Awesome, and I'm down here at Surfside having a blast. I've just been in the arcade, and on the most amazing carousel you will ever see, you'll now find me down at Lemon Stand sharing a cocktail or two with my new friends. Now let's cross live to Ken and Christy at Absolute Zero. Thanks, Admiral Awesome. I'm Ken Rush. And I'm Christy Coachman. And we are at Royal Caribbean's largest ice skating rink yet, Absolute Zero. Ken, I've seen more double axles, triple toe loops, and backflips, and I can count on both hands. The energy is electric all throughout the ship, so we're going to go to the Royal Theatre now to our cruise director, Mike. Hi, Mike. Thank you, Ken. Thank you, Christy. Yes, I am Mike. I'm the cruise director on board, and I am standing on the stage where the best entertainment happens. And on Icon, that means following the yellow brick road with Dorothy and, of course, the Wizard of Oz. But I'm also here with an audience that puts Icon in iconic. Audience, make some noise! That's what 1,200 people sounds like. We are ready to get the party started. Nick, are you ready up in the Aqua Theater? Thank you, Mike. Yes, I'm live in the Aqua Theater, and this is Ground Central. Ladies and gentlemen, I was at the meeting when somebody said, I wonder if we can get Mario, and we all went, yeah, let's get him. Ladies and gentlemen, our host, your MC, please make lots of noise for the one and only Mr. Mario Lopez. Nick, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. The team, yes. Excited to be here. It's been a whole day of celebration here for the Icon of the Seas, a historic naming uh, ceremony. It's a sensation, really, that has taken the world by storm from the first reveal of the ship to the years of dedication to bringing Icon to life, to her big arrival moment right here in beautiful Miami. The whole world has been watching. Now, the Icon of Vacations is ready for its main act. Make an unbelievable vacation memories for the families that will soon sail on board. During the ceremony tonight, we're going to be showcasing the people at the heart of that vacation, the ship's incredible crew. Let's check it out.
Icon Beverage Team. Icon Crew Footballers. <laughs> like I catch me off guard right there. Of course, y'all know the reason why Dua um, brought the soccer ball today, which I just tossed over there. So let's not wait another minute to get our iconic procession out here. Icon of the Seas, Captain Henrik Loy. Thank you, gentlemen. Now, the Royal Caribbean is known not only for their exceptional ships, but also for the dedicated service of crew members that go above and beyond to make sure that every guest has the vacation of a lifetime. So let's hear from some of those crew members about what it means to be part of the Royal Caribbean family. My name is Alan Clear. I started working for Royal Caribbean 1985. My name is Alex and this is my fifth contract with Royal. My name is Camilla Arvin Sanchez Gamet Jr. and I'm working in Royal Caribbean for seven years now. My name is Jacob Huta. I've been working with Royal Caribbean for more than eight years now. I started in 2015. When I begin start with, with this company, you know, I am start as a bell attendant, bell station. Just love to be here because I love to do what I'm doing. I am a youth staff, so I look after all of the children on board. I'm from Philippines, and here on board, I'm working as a marine deck. We do the maintenance of the ship superstructure. I'm from Manila, Philippines, and I am the human resources specialist on board Icon of the Seas. Royal Caribbean changed my life a lot because I helped my sisters and my family, and also my father's working in Royal Caribbean as well. I'm going to offer to work with other cruise lines, but I never leave Royal Caribbean. I think what makes my job so special as human resource specialist is that I'm in charge of most of the activities of the crew members, as well as other welfare and benefits for crew. So seeing crew members um, start their contracts and sign off happy knowing that the company cares about them, I think that's what makes my job special. One thing that's the best working with cruises is that you get to meet people from all over the world and the team becomes your family on board. I believe what sets Royal Caribbean apart from other cruise lines is the effort that not just um, the managers on board, but seeing senior management from Miami really get involved, knowing what they can improve for crew members and working on it is really what sets Royal Caribbean apart. Yes, that's the Royal Caribbean crew, passionate, dedicated, and always working together too. Wow, all of you. Now, tonight we have the honor of showcasing 31 vocalists from the Royal Caribbean production cast. They're in various locations across Icon, from here in the Aqua Theater, inside the Royal Theater, to out in the promenade to bring us the U.S. National Anthem. So if you would please stand for the Royal Caribbean cast and the National Anthem.
Yes. Let's hear it for the amazing vocalist on board Icon of the Seas. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. All right, now here to perform a tradition that's part of every naming ceremony and to ensure safe sailing for all who are on board, please welcome at this time Rabbi Jeremy Barris and Pastor Ricky Scott, who will each bless the Icon of the Seas. Rabbi. And God said to Noah, I will make it rain upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. Build for yourself and your family an ark so that you shall sail peacefully with the waters. When Moses ascended Mount Sinai to receive the Ten Commandments and bring God's word into the world, he remained there for 40 days and 40 nights. When the Israelites wandered in the wilderness to be cleansed from their sins, they wandered for 40 years. Jewish law teaches that when one immerses in a ritual bath for the purpose of purification, there must be at least 40 units of natural rainwater. The ancient sages taught us that the number 40 represents purity because it symbolizes the number of weeks a baby is in its mother's womb. The baby there is surrounded by a film of water that protects it until it's ready to be born. Thus, whenever God wants humanity to experience rebirth, it is done with water. The floodwaters cleanse the corruption of humanity, and the words of God that Moses received on Mount Sinai are compared to water because it is God's word like water that gives us life. This ship, the icon of the seas, the largest cruise ship in the world, has the power to achieve the heavenly mission of uniting humanity with the purifying waters of nature. If she serves her purpose, she will welcome thousands upon thousands of our brothers and sisters from all over the world. She will offer them refreshment, refinement, relaxation, and God willing, purification. May those who serve on this ship and those who enjoy her fruits find a glimpse of the heavenly abode as they sail through the purifying waters of God's divine fountains. May this be God's will. Amen. And now, Pastor Ricky Scott. Let us ask God's blessing for those involved in the life of this icon of the seas. Lord of heaven and earth, we give you thanks for this awesome icon of the seas. From the architectural designs to the material used to construct such an amazing vessel. Let those who will operate this icon of the seas be guided by your divine hands of direction. Be their provider, and protector, let you, let your, like you did rather for this disciples when the storm arose in the Sea of Galilee. There will be those cruising, Lord, this awesome icon of seas with their families and friends. We ask that you grant them an awesome experience and cover them with your watchful eye throughout the journey. Oh, Lord God, you rule the land and sea as this vessel enter the sea. Be the protector and guide for this icon of the seas and all of its 76, over 7,600 passengers who will sail in her. Let the staff and those who will serve do it with a grateful and a willing attitude. Refresh them daily 
as they serve with dignity and respect. Bless the fruit of their labors, that through your will, that your will may be done, and your name glorified through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Pastor.
a trip. <laughs> Thanks for making the journey all the way from Scotland, uh, gentlemen. Um, all right, next. I'd now like to invite President and CEO of Royal Caribbean International, Mr. Michael Bailey, for a few words. Well, good evening, and welcome to Icon of the Seas. Yeah. It's been a long and incredible journey, seven years, and really our dream has now become a reality. And we believe we've created the world's best family vacation. I hope you'll agree. It's been an exciting journey getting to this point with this incredible ship. And it's only the Royal Caribbean family that is capable of creating such an exceptional vacation. Because we have a shared vision, and we've had a shared vision for a, a long time. It all started with our founder, Mr. Ed Steffen. He had a dream to create a cruise company that sailed year-round from Miami with ships never seen before. And although he is no longer with us, I hope that Mr. Stefan is looking down on us today with a great deal of pride. We honor him and that dream tonight with his wife, Helen, and his daughter, Samantha, who are here in the audience. Where are you, Helen and Samantha? So now here we are. Seeing our biggest dream come to life with Icon of the Seas. What you see throughout Icon and its eight incredible neighborhoods is more than 50 years of passion, innovation, coming together to create truly the best family vacation. From Thrill Island with Category 6, the first true water park at sea, to Surfside designed for families with young children, to the crazy three-story ultimate family townhouse, which, by the way, is completely sold out for 2024. And you better hurry for 2025. And of course, the hideaway with the first suspended infinity pool at sea. The stunning, incredible Royal Promenade, which is home to the epic pool. The lush and lively Central Park. And there are seven pools. We wanted to make sure that every single day you could go to a different pool. So hopefully people will enjoy that. More than 40 restaurants and bars, and the entertainment is truly spectacular. From the Wizard of Oz in the incredible Royal Theater, to Starburst Elemental Beauty in Absolute Zero, the largest ice arena at sea. And look around you in this venue alone. The Aquadome. We've accomplished things that have never been done before. It truly is an engineering marvel. And most of all, it's an incredible entertainment neighborhood that transforms through the day to the night. And of course, to complete the world's best family vacation, Icon of the Seas has the perfect addition to our family with our first chief dog officer, Rover. If you're lucky, you may see Rover later today, but she's a little bit like a movie star. We can't put her on a schedule. She doesn't listen to anything we ask, but she's stunningly beautiful, and when your kids see her, they're going to fall in love, and they're going to love you more. From our very first ship, Song of Norway, to Icon of the Seas, our years of success has been driven by the incredible spirit of our people and our guests. And I have the pleasure of recognizing a few of those people this evening. More than 40 years ago, Francesco Mazzotta joined Royal Caribbean from Italy as a busboy on the Nordic Prince sailing the Caribbean, serving our guests. Today, Francesco is part of our HR team in Miami and has supported the recruitment and placement of literally tens of thousands of crew members. We're also lucky to have Franci yes, thank you, yeah. Fra All right. 
but we're also lucky to have Francesco's daughters working at Royal Caribbean. Francesca and Gabby, please stand for a second. Thank you, the Mazzotta family, for being part of the Royal Caribbean story. Like our teams ashore, our more than 50,000 crew are second to none. Like Camilo De Chico, a carpenter supervisor. More than 30 years ago, Camilo took a chance on Royal Caribbean and traveled far from his home in the Philippines to pursue what is now a lifelong career. Camilo's journey inspired his two daughters, Geraldine and Joanna, to join Royal Caribbean, and they now work on the Allure of the Seas and Voyager of the Seas. And they're here with us today. Geraldine and Joanna, please. And they're joined by their uncle, Isagni, who is currently the carpenter on board Icon of the Sea, so it's all in the family. <laughs> Geraldine and Joanna, we're very proud of you, and your family have made your home away from home with Royal Caribbean. We thank you. There's also millions of reasons we do what we do every day. Our guests, like our crew, ship and shore, there are guests who have sailed with us for generations. And today I'd like to recognize one of those families, the Carter family. Can the Carter family stand up? So the Carters first sailed with Royal Caribbean on the Sun Viking in 1987. Yeah, that's a long, long time ago. Wayne Carter sailed with his grandmother, Ruth, as a teenager. Since then, the Carter family has made Royal Caribbean their home and have sailed with us many, many times. Wayne and Michelle were married on Independence of the Seas in 2013. They go on family vacations with their daughters, Priscilla and Kaylin, every year with Royal Caribbean and they even witnessed their daughter's first steps on Serenade of the Seas. Yeah. And that's what Royal Caribbean is all about, those special family moments, big and small, that all add up to a life well lived. Thank you to the Carter family. We really appreciate you being here today. God bless you. As we celebrate ICON and look at Royal Caribbean's heritage, its people, it is the people who have made this vision, this moment, and this first-of-a-kind vacation a reality. And that old saying, teamwork makes the dream work, it is really true. It really is teamwork that makes the dream work. So let's give ourselves the Royal Caribbean family. We've really done a pretty good job, actually. I would like to thank several people here today. Thank you to our chairman, Richard Fain, for his... for his support and vision for Icon of the Seas and his guidance over many years. By the way, Richard is also very helpful if you need a definition of anything possible on the planet. He's almost like a human Google, but he's a lot smaller. Oh, sorry, a lot slower. <laughs> to our board of directors and investors, and to Jason Liberty, Royal Caribbean Group President and CEO. And my colleagues, Naftali Holtz and Dana Ritzkoven. <laughs> and everybody on the executive committee at Royal Caribbean Group for helping guide us to success. Very special recognition to Laura Hodges, Bethke. Where's Laura? <laughs> you know, I'd really like to take the credit for Icon of the Seas, and in fact, I repeatedly do. Um, 
but I have to say it's truly teamwork makes the dream work. And Laura was instrumental in helping design and create and have really helped create this amazing experience. Now, of course, she's become the president of Celebrity Cruises. So congratulations, Laura. And what can I say to the amazing, unbelievable, incredible, fantastic new build organization led by Harry Kulavara, Kelly Gonzalez. Where's, where's Harry? Yeah. Harry, Kelly, and Sash, yeah. What an unbelievable job you guys do, and what a journey we've been on together and on many, many times. I thank you so much. You build incredible ships. And of course, the countless teams in the shared service organizations that work diligently to support the brand in bringing Icon of the Seas to life. So thank you so much, everybody who helped. So, a very special thank you to the Royal Caribbean International team and their organizations that really are the best in the world. And I'd just like to call out each of their names, so bear with me a second. It's the executive brand leadership team for Royal Caribbean International who really have helped build a phenomenal brand and a very successful business. Jay Schneider. <laughs> Sean Tracy. Vicky Freed, <laughs> Cara Wallace, Greg Purdy, Michael Goldner, Mr. Nick Weir, <laughs> Bert Hernandez, Effie Papa Giannikis. And of course, where would we be without Mr. Figgis? And of course, a very spe special thank you to Raymond Gashida, who is our VP of Operations and really helped bring Icon alive. We couldn't have done it without Raymond. And of course, a massive thank you to the Maya family and the Maya Turku workers. I'm not sure where Bernard and... Yeah, guys, thank you so much. Thank you. I hope you see the incredible craftsmanship, attention to detail. These ships are so beautifully made. I enjoy just walking around looking at what incredible ships these are. So thank you so much, and thank you to all the Turku workers for really doing an incredible job. Okay, and last, you're thinking, is he ever gonna end this speech? <laughs> it's coming to an end. And last, but truly never least, the biggest thank you in the world to the best crew in the world, the Icon Crew. God bless you. Yes. <laughs> you are the best. So from one ship and an office trailer on Biscayne Boulevard to this moment here, and you're not gonna believe this, but there's a lady sitting here today who actually worked in the Royal Caribbean trailer on Biscayne Boulevard 53 years ago. Yeah, that makes her very old. <laughs> but she's still with Royal Caribbean. She's a senior manager in guest experience. Anna, I know you don't like any kind of attention, but please stand up for a second. We love you, baby. What a story. So Icon is the very best of all of us. It's our past and present. And like the Masata, the Chico, and Carter families, Icon is also the future and what's to come from Royal Caribbean. We truly have an exciting future ahead. So let's celebrate today and enjoy what we've accomplished together. God bless. Thank you.
Thank you, Michael. Thank you for that uh, amazing recognition of our crew families. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from a group that knows how to make a splash. We're in their territory, after all. Our Aqua Theater cast. My name is Grace. I've been working for Royal Caribbean for nearly nine years. My name is Freddie Woodward and I've worked for Royal Caribbean for five years. Hi, my name is Chikako Izumi. I'm from Japan and I'm working in Royal Caribbean for six years. Hi, I'm Eve Luwini. I've worked for Royal Caribbean for seven years now. My name is Jason Van Donder and I've been working with the company for six years now. I am a featured aerialist and the aqua captain on Icon of the Seas. And I'm a diver and high diver in aqua action. Support Diver, it's called the Aqua Cast. I am Artistic Simmer. I'm the dance coordinator in the Aqua Show, Aqua Action. So I've always been really lucky to work for Royal because of all the technology that they bring to the shows. It's, it's been incredible on the Oasis Club venues. And now I've come to Icon and that's a crazy amount of steps higher. There's so much going on. I think I love flying above the audience, interacting with them. It makes me really happy to be on stage to show my emotions and happiness. We've got so many amazing uh, athletes from around the world. We've got Olympians and all those people working with so many creative people as well. Really gets my blood pumping. We get to um, do so many different kinds of styles in these shows and work with athletes from all around the world and it's such a unique experience. The opportunity that they provide for us here is so exciting to reach our limits and to go beyond what we uh, ever believe we could dream to do. It's it's an incredible opportunity. Being able to perform in, in a venue like this still blows my mind. It's fun seeing people, uh, their ideas coming together and like forming this amazing show that you guys will see behind me. It's such a brilliant environment to have so many different people from all around the world, such different uh, disciplines, and to just perform for these amazing audiences on ship. This is very grateful opportunity to be here and then to use in my skill to be here. It's really incredible to be part of such a strong, talented team. The eye-popping structure that is surrounding us today is the all-new Aquadome, a performance space like nothing before it, from high divers to aerialists to even skateboarders and robots. This venue pushes the limits of what's possible alongside a really incredible cast. Here to perform an excerpt from Aqua Action, the Aqua Theater's headline show is the amazing Aquacast.
One more time for our talented Aqua athletes. That was high. <laughs> All right. Now let's catch up again with some special crew members and learn about their time with Royal Caribbean. My name is LaRue and I've been working with Royal Caribbean for about a year and a half now. Hello, my name is Kurt. I've um, been work, working in Royal Caribbean for five years already. My name is Rohit Kanojia and I started on Royal Caribbean five years before. My name is Karin and I work for Royal Caribbean for two years. My name is Mike. I've worked uh, two years for Royal. I'm from Philippines and my job here is a technical storekeeper. We do unloading, loading of the things. We order spare parts of the machineries. I'm a sports staff on board. I'm from India, Mumbai, and I'm a Belen officer attendant over Royal Caribbean. On board, I am one of the sports staff, so I work on the crown shades, the flow rider, and also the adrenaline peak rock wall. I am from Brazil, and I'm a public car attendant from the housekeeping. Well, what excites me about my job is mostly the excitement it brings to the guests. It's a lot more fun to have that interaction with guests and actually have fun while doing the job. As a state room attendant and as a bell and officer attendant, we need to give the best experience and best answer to the guests to experience the ship because Royal Caribbean has plenty things to offer. Especially this ship, icon of the sea, this is the most beautiful ship I have seen. I love this company because all people have an open mindset. I feel like everybody's hugging me and then I feel so comfortable to work here. Royal Caribbean changed my life in a way that I can travel the world while working on a ship. There's a lot of special moments in here. I find my passion to work in Royal Caribbean because it allows me to explore the world, meet new people, new friends. It's the best place where I work. I've been to 79 countries now. I've pretty much been all over the world. I've met a lot of people. It changes you as a person because you get to learn from other cultures. So that's really what's exciting about working for Royal Caribbean. Working in Royal Caribbean changed my life because I'm so happy person now. I can deliver the world for our guests and it's the best decision I make in my life. It's true. <laughs> Those are great stories, great stories. A big thank you to all our crew members for their years of service. And now we're going to welcome to the stage the president and CEO of Royal Caribbean Group, Mr. Jason Liberty. That aqua show was amazing, huh? Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, unbelievable. You know, this is my seventh one of these, uh, and I've never seen a crowd quite like this. I think Michael and I were talking about it's just incredible how everybody would come and show up and, and cheer for us. It has nothing to do with uh, who's, who's going to name the ship, right? So, so, it's, so, it's, you know, so it's good to see here. Well, first of all, just a uh, huge welcome. Thank you, Mario, for the introduction um, and everyone for this historic occasion as we gather for our naming ceremony of this true marvel in the vacation world icon of the seas. Every, every once in a while, a revolutionary product comes along that changes everything. A product that pushes the boundaries of human ingenuity, makes a widespread impact, and forever changes the status quo. Today is that day. As we launch the new era of multi-generational and family experiences here on Icon of the Seas. World Caribbean International's Icon of the Seas is a culmination of over 50 years of dreaming, innovating, and living our mission each and every day to deliver the world's best vacations and doing so in a responsible way. There is no better example of this mission than the debut of this incredible experience and, of course, our amazing crew here on Icon of the Seas. The Icon of the Seas class defines the very essence of what vacations can be for all ages, every member of the family, and with some of, someone with every interest. As I stand here today, of course, we were beaming with pride with this incredible vessel pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible, but was thought to be impossible in, the, in both the maritime engineering world, architecture, design, and of course, vacation experiences. I'm reminded of a great quote by Nelson Mandela, which I think sums, sums up our ambitions. It always seems impossible until it is possible. Well, here we are in the ultimate multi-generational family vacation, and what an honor it has been to make the impossible possible with this talented team across the Royal Caribbean group. Yeah. Now, as Michael mentioned, you know, to, to accomplish all of this, to accomplish the icon, you know, they say it takes a village, but in actuality, it actually takes a city of dreamers, believers, innovators, and the best craftsmen in the world. I'd first like to start by recognizing our founding families who are with us today, the Wilhelmsons, the Ophers, and the Pritzkers. They had the courage to invest in a dream and the wisdom and the patience to give us the industry-leading position we are now in today. So great to have you here. Thank you. I'd like to congratulate my colleague, my friend, Michael, on this incredible and his incredible team on this historic moment for the Royal Caribbean International brand that has been seven years in the making. Each day, day by day, this has been a passion project for them. Michael and team have poured countless, you know, hundreds of thousands, millions of hours into making sure ICON was the ultimate family vacation, and you did it, Michael. So it also takes a great, it's also a great day for our dreamers, our experienced creators, and our builders of our world-class new building team at the Royal Caribbean Group, which we are led by the incomparable Harry Kulavara and Kelly Gonzalez. Um, I know we clapped for them before, but I'd like to give them another clap. It's really incredible. I'm also incredibly fortunate to have the very best board of directors in the world. I'd like to thank each of you who are here um, for being here tonight and for your unwavering support of both building uh, the icon of the seas. You know, this is a, not something you just wake up and say okay to, um, and the unwavering support for the company. So thank you so much. <laughs> to my mentor, my dear friend, and our chairman, Richard Fain, who I, it was our goat. Um, thank you for all that you have done to bring icon to life. Richard's passion for shipbuilding and delivering the very best experience really shows no bounds. And of course, you could see his fingerprints all over this ship from bow to stern. 
Um, and we're just so, 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 so thankful for all your passion and making us the very best that we are. And of course, we're sitting here and we're showing this here in, in, in this ship. I do want to say, you know, there's this infamous story about how Richard on a napkin, um, it's not a story, it's actually a factual thing that occurred, um, that actually drew out the space that we're sitting in today, the Aquadome. Um, and we all looked at that and, and laughed and said, how is that actually going to be done on any structure, let alone something that's going to float on water? And of course, here we are today in this mar architectural marvel. So great. Now, since they won't really let us use hammers and, and, and screwdrivers and, and torches and so forth, it actually takes an incredible partner uh, in order to do that. And so uh, the story really leads me to the village of skilled partners that, are, that have joined us on this journey. Uh, Myra Turku, um, who constructed this ship here, you know, we found the experts, seven, seven generations of shipbuilding, um, partners and a challenge, and really took on the challenge to make history. I would like to spend my, extend my special thank yous to Tim Meyer, the Meyer family, his team, and their board who are here tonight for answering the call to be industry pioneers with us. So thank you. Yeah, a lot of thank you here, so, so buckle up. Um, I'd also like to spend, a, a, of course, a huge thank you to my leadership team who is here tonight for their unwavering dedication and commitment to our mission each and every day. I would also like to welcome our Florida elected officials who are here with us tonight, Congresswoman Salazar, <laughs> Governor Jimenez, Mayor Levine Cava, and many, many, many of our friends from Miami-Dade County who are also here with us today. They really have been incredible champions and supporters of us all, all, through, all throughout time and really making, of course, Miami the largest cruise port in the world. So thank you very much, Heidi. Thank you. And of course, none of this can take place without our incredible officers and crew. And you know, arguably, we would say it's the most vital part of our operations that make these impossible dreams for our guests every single day come, come to be. Um, so I would like to also give a, the heart and soul of this, of this experience for ICON. Of course, we found them here with our captain, Henrik Loy, and the more than 2,000 crew members here on board. So thank you. I often say that the ship is really just the canvas and our crew are the color and the paint strokes that bring the experience to life. And we are so lucky to have the very best people. We have the best ships best brands, best destinations, most innovative, unique guest experiences in the industry. I'm so, I, I, thank, I thank you for going above and beyond every single day to create a lifelong of memories for our guests coming back again and again. As ICON prepares to sail forward, there is no doubt that she will leave a wake of inspiration in her path for years to come and forever change the tides of the family vacation experience. The Royal Caribbean Group is not charting a bold course on one ship or one brand, but each of our three marquee brands, the Royal Caribbean International brand, which we were here tonight, Celebrity Cruises, and, and Silver Sea. In addition to ICON, we launched Celebrity Ascent last month, solidifying Celebrity's Cruises, reimagining premium travel. And at the beginning of this month, we named Silver Sea's Silver Nova, representing a new, a new bold vision for ultra luxury travel. In our relentless mission to deliver the world's best vacations responsibly, we will continue to ride a wave of innovation here in 2024 on our journey to net zero. Each of our brands delivers a, a vacation of a lifetime to their guests, and now collectively with a group of brands that, appeal, that appeals to every life segment, we have an ecosystem that trams a vacation of a lifetime into a lifetime of vacations for our guests. So, okay. So let's get, let's get to business here, and the reason why we're all here is the christening of the ship. I'm sure you're tired. I'm tired, so I'm sure you're tired. Uh, in this grand tradition of maritime ceremonies, we have chosen a truly exceptional individual to preside over this moment, one who has transformed his sport, the goat of professional football, Lionel Messi. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah, perfect, perfecto. 
one, wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> You'll have to, which was one? No, 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 Poco, Poco was one, Poco was one. Uh, he really doesn't need an introduction. I mean, he is the list of records throughout his career, which includes the World Cup in Argentina in 2022. <laughs> the prestigious Balloon d'Or, eight times, by the way. And he was named Times 2023 Athlete of the Year. He's also introduced a new era of excitement, passion for soccer in Miami and across the U.S. And I suspect he will, ever, he will ever, forever transform the sport power and popularity here in America. The icon of his sport is now our icon for icon. But I do want to give you a different lens of Leo. Um, when I first met Leo and his family last year, I knew him solely, like many of you, as his, as, for his football accomplishments as being the GOAT. Within seconds of being with him, it was clear that his top priority was not the pursuit of being the very best or winning on the soccer field. It was actually his family. Watching the endearment and love for his wife, Antonella, and his three boys made it obvious that his where his priorities lie. And Leo and Antonella carry that family focus forward in life decisions they make and the organizations they support. As a father of four myself, it was this interaction that I realized where Leo's true passion lies. And I will, I will now forever see him first as a husband, as a father, who just happens to play soccer really, really well. Uh, in just a few moments, Leo will take part in one of my favorite traditions. He will have the honor of bestowing the safekeeping and good luck of the ship and the crew with the breaking of the champagne bottle over the bow of the ship. Of course, in keeping with that, that passion um, of always doing things bigger and bolder, the bottle that we use to christen the ship in itself is iconic. It's the largest production bottle made, and it's, the most it's for the most iconic ship in the world, of course. Yes, it was fun creating the impossible here with Icon, but I can tell you firsthand that it's even more fun to experience it. So let's christen the ship and enjoy the iconic way for families to come together and make memories of a lifetime. Thank you all again for being here for the naming ceremonies, and I'm gonna hand it over here to Mario so we can begin the commencement of the, of the, of the, of the christening. Mario. All right. Thank you, Jason, thank you. All right. The time has come for us to officially name Icon of the Seas, Michael and Captain. If you would please join Leo. All right, let's get a look at the bottle. There's that big bottle. <laughs> okay, I believe we are ready to go, but uh, we're missing the bottle release device. We need that. Grace, thank you. All right. Now with that, we really are ready to go. Jason, okay. Leo, Great. let's do this. Leo, uh, as, as of course our icon of icon, will you please do us the immense honor of naming our beloved new ship, blessing her and all that sail on her for many years to come. Bueno, muchas gracias, Jackson. Antes que nada, me gustaría eh, agradecer a, tu, a todo el grupo de Rocha Caribbean por darme este privilegio. Es un gran honor para mí. Sé lo que significa este barco para la ciudad de Miami y para el mundo entero. Así que sin más nombro este, este barco Icon de Cis. Dios lo bendiga y a todos los que no ven en él.
welcome to the family icon of the seas and thank you all for joining us today for this iconic moment. We hope to see you all on board again very, very soon. God bless.